We are inside and under the roof tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. We get the homestand underway with the first of two between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Toronto Blue Jays. It'll be fun watching these two swing it all series long. First pitch is next. Aaron Sanchez is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Toronto. Eric, any thoughts? He threw a real gem in his last game. Complete game shutout. He'll look to repeat that kind of performance here. The Diamondbacks. EK, any thoughts? Well, you've really got to appreciate the incredible talent of Paul Goldschmidt. He's currently on pace to score at least 90 runs on the year, which is a pretty big total. So clearly he's a big part of this lineup. Here's money Tomas. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. With a moment now, let's give you a look at the defensive alignment for the Blue Jays. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, Kevin Pillar out there in the outfield covers a ton of ground and can really go get him. What's even more exciting is to watch him dive for balls, really get some air. Man, can't wait to see him in this one. Paul Goldschmidt will make his way in now as you get a look at his splits there on your screen. And so put the guy on the mound. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Diamondbacks down in order. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance. No score. Shelby Miller, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, E.K.? Well, guys, his batting average against this year is under 250. He's really had his way with the offense. Troy Tulowitzki comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. The, Jays, the shortstop, Troy Tulowitzki. Drill down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. So far, so good. They get a scoreless top of the first, and now a leadoff single to start things in their head. Okay, you take a look at this Diamondback ball club as they begin play here tonight. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, and when you're playing good baseball, suddenly first place starts coming into clearer focus. They've really made up some ground here in this past week or so. Well, that's two batters and two hard-hit singles to start the bottom of the first. They are showing they are absolutely locked in on this guy. Edwin Encarnacion will step in now. Currently fourth in the AL in RBIs, but with a chance to add to his total early on. And you know what? I'm told he's driven in five over his last ten ball games. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. The 0-1 delivery. High in the air and deep to left center field. Tomas looks up and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a three-run shot to left center. Number 21 for him on the season. And the Jays have moved out in front three to nothing. Well, this is a pitch he'd love to have back. You can see where it is. Catching way too much of the plate. Now he's going to have to start this inning over from scratch. Blue Jays starting lineup. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Steve? Well, we all know they're going to try to hit the ball out of the park. They lead the league in home runs. They have the power to score at any moment up and down that lineup. And they have a very dangerous middle of the order. Junior Lake will stand in now, happy that this series is at home, no doubt, as you see his splits right there. First pitch on its way. 
hit hard towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. For a loud out number one. Third baseman. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. Jake Lamb will stride in, hoping to stay hot as he came through with a... Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Well, tough to start a game much better than this. He's run through these first five guys pretty easily. This is already his third strikeout of the ball game. Looks like he's in it for the long haul here. Devin Travis will dig in for the first time now. He's got that average. Miller gets the sign. First pitch on the way. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Yeah. Troy Tulowitzki will stand in. He singled the lead off the home first. Well, he hit the fastball, so we're going to see right here if they still come at him with the hard stuff. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Is that really the spot you want to be messing with here? shouldn't be that's a danger zone if you ask me high in the air and deep to straight away left Tomas ranging back and this one is gone a home run a two run home run for Troy Tulowitzki number 10 for him on the year and the Blue Jays are running away with it here it's now a five nothing ball game. You know, it's just not that often that you're going to beat a guy like this around the yard the way they've done so far. I mean, he came into this game with an ERA in the twos, but it's going to field his ball if he can get there. So he calls everybody off, and he makes the play easily. A good tempo to him out there right now. And it looks like that'll put him into the hit column here as this is into left field, a base hit. Michael Bourne takes his first shot here. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. And when you're trying to think down in the zone, that's a pitch you're just not prepared to see. I think it just caught him off guard there as this is in there at the letters. Yusmani Tomas is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he's set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. First baseman number. You want to see what downward break looks like? Check this out and show motion. Look at how this thing's just falling right off the table. That pitch is really moving, folks. Strike one. This guy has been amazing. He's thrown a first pitch strike to around 80% of the batters he faced. And we're in the middle. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Well, what's the best way to make sure that cleanup guy doesn't get to hit with runners on base? How about back-to-back -back strikeouts? That'll do the job. Two, three, go the Diamondbacks. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Leading off the fourth inning. Catcher, Josh Tolley. Lined hard toward right center. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. Play out there, and there are two away now. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. Well, Matt, they're near the top of the league in that category. You can see right here. And it's always nice to know that Jose Batista comes to the plate as we get started here Leading in the bottom the of the trade. fifth. First baseman, Jose Miller's ready. Here comes the first pitch. 
Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. Too tired. You figure he'll settle back in sooner or later. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. And that's what I'd call an intelligent at bat right there. It's good knowledge of the strike zone, and more importantly, of how the home plate umpire calls the strike zone. He's got himself a leadoff walk. Now the Diamondback skipper's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a signal is beckoning here. That'll do it for Shelby Miller. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Josh Colmenter is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Colmenter. Edwin Encarnacion will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. And now he gets to face some fresh meat. He's already got one homer in this game, remember. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Well, that is such a good pitch. First pitch changeup, when you know a guy's a first pitch fastball guy, just uses aggressiveness against him. Chopped weakly to the left. Reined in to second for one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. The sixth. Center fielder. Michael Bourne in now. He went down. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. And you start to wonder if anyone's going to get on base against him again. That's ten straight now. He's retired. Back here at Rogers Center in Toronto. Seventh inning coming up with the Jays out in front as we give you a look at our game summary to this point. Leading off the inning, third time. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. This little four game run they've been on, it's been a good one, but less things change in a hurry. It's looking like that wind keeps rolling right along. Shut out intact as you get a look at his line so far. Through seven and a third innings now. Control 0 and 2. And you'd think for as hot as this guy's been over the last few games, they might be treading carefully. Huh. They're coming right after him, and now they've got him in an O. Center fielder number 11. At the plate, Kevin, Kevin Pillar. He looked to bounce back after strike. Hit hard up the middle, and that'll get down for a two out single. Welcome back to Major League Baseball on the show. A shot there of the nighttime beauty of this terrific Canadian city. Striding in to start the ninth, Phil Goslin. And the they'll need him to. Smoke toward the hole. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Michael Bourne will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitling in a ball chop foul right at home plate. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Lake has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Another guy retired there. You see his pitching line to this point. It's phenomenal. Just two hits. Both of them are singles. And he's hardly even been in trouble. Thorough domination so far. Gene Segura. One and will do it again. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Well, now the further he goes in this one, the less precise he's going to be with his location. You can see it up on the screen. He's up over 90 pitches here. So, drilled to the right side. Travis showing off his range. On to first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, just two hits were all they could muster off of him. He was in complete control from the start of this game, and he finished it off in style, too.
one more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home tops player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, definitely no, no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a, a few times, and he winds up with a complete game shutout. Just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to the shownation.com. The Blue Jays come out on top, five to nothing. Good night from Toronto.